Hey, this is Mr. Elmhurst. Welcome back for a sixth grade math lesson where we're going to take a look at rational numbers on a number line or more specifically fractions and decimals. So we have been focusing on integers, positive and negative whole numbers for a couple weeks, but now we're going to look at right here we have our integers. Now we're going to look at what about going between these whole numbers and integers. Okay, so zoom in here and take a little bit. So here, the whole number one and then the whole number two, if we break it up into 10 equal parts in the middle, we're going to need nine lines. So we're gonna break it up. There's right in the middle and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then that would be 10. So we could label this as one as a whole number, point one, point two, point three, point four, and point five, point six. So these are gonna be rational numbers. They are partial numbers. The numbers that are gonna be between the whole numbers, one and two. So now that we have it broken up into tenths, now we can count one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be 0.5 of a whole number. And we would write that as one as a whole number and then five tenths. If we wrote it as a fraction, one as a whole number is a fraction. And then we have five parts out of 10 total little lines, one and five tenths. So we're gonna go over here and take a look at this arrow. We're gonna to go to the left, find three. Three is gonna be our whole number. And now we're gonna go between the numbers from three to four. So starting at three, do not count the first line. We're gonna count the jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight out of 10, or eight little parts of the whole number, eight, three, and eight tenths. The fraction can be written as three. Now we have eight as the part out of 10. Okay, just putting a little box here to identify where everything is at. Okay, so now we're getting into the getting into the hang of it here. So we have five as a whole number. Find the whole number. And now we're going to look for the partial number or the rational number part of it. So starting here at five, we're going to count one, two, three, four. Four, five, and four tenths. As a fraction, we'll do five and four tenths. Right here, we have nine as the whole number, and then decimal, one, two. Nine and two tenths. Two parts out of 10. Okay, so we can extend the number line here to have three over here somewhere. And it looks like we're gonna have to count down from four. So on the left side, we have three point something. And if we take away two from 10, take away two from 10 is gonna be eight. So we got three and then eight tenths. Here's five, five is a whole number, and then we count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five and seven tenths. So seven, here's your whole number. 
And starting at seven, don't count the first line, but we count the jumps. One, two, three, four. Seven and four tenths. And we have nine as the whole number. And then the decimal value, one, two, three, four, five, and five out of 10. Eleven and two tenths. So we got seven point nine. Here's your seven. Then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it says draw an arrow. So that would go right here. And 11.3, 1, 2, 3, 14.7, and then 12.5. So we got 12.5 is going to count in the middle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to go right there. And then 14.7. Got 14, 12, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going to go right here. So draw arrows to each one of the number line. You got 15.7. 15. And we have 9 over here, 17 and 11. So 9.8 is going to be 2, 8 is 2 less than 10, so counting back from 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 11.5. And then 17.1. Okay, so now looking on the back side, you're going to need to do, is, what you're going to need to do is look at the whole numbers and you're going to have to break it up into 10 equal parts. So we're looking at 3 as a whole number and then 4 as a whole number. And we need 10 equal parts. Okay, and so between three and four, we're going to try to find the middle. And then after you find the middle, we're going to break it up into five equal parts. So we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then from four to five, Try to split it in the middle. So that's going to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5 in the middle. Here's 0 0.0. Uh, that's going to end up being confusing. And so we're going to break that up into five equal parts. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So point A is going to be over here at 1, 2, 3, 4. That's decimal 4, and then there's the whole number, 4. Point B is going to be over here. We have 3 as a whole number. And then it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Point we got A, B, C. Point C is going to be over here. We got 4 as a whole number. And then you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4.6. And then point D 
right here is going to be 3 as a whole number, and then 1, 2, 3.2. Okay, so now just get into the tenths part of it. Here's one and two. I'm gonna break it down the middle. Two and three. Three and four. Okay, so now we have it in the middle and we need one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, notice right here, D is located a little bit in the middle. So the, if this is point one, point two, point three, point four, and then point five, well, now even within the these tenths between the tenths would be hundreds. So this would be one as a whole number, and then it's 0.2, 1.2, and then between two and three, halfway in the middle, would be 0.5 again. But we're going to write it as 1.25. So that's point D should be located at 1.25. So point A is right here, two, and then we go one, two, th wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then it's a little bit in the middle, and that's where we'd have 0. 0.5. So we got point A, point B, it's gonna be over here at four, we break this up into the middle, and halfway in the middle is going to be 0 0.5. We have point C. It's going to be located right here at 3. And then we have 1, 2, and then a half would give us hundreds. So 3.25, and then point D, we did that one. That's 1.25. So right in the middle here, we have four and five. So looking at point A, point A, we have six, point five. Six as a whole number, and then point five. Point B, we got four, and that's 4.5. You have point C, which is seven, and it's right in the middle, it's kind of an easy one. 7.5, then we have point D, which is 5.5.